So guys, so this is for those students who are not going to use their laptops or computers but instead they are going to use their smartphone to do their programming exercises. Now, we are going to use uh, Java N IDE this one so you're going to download it and install it so I have already installed it so this is going to be our IDE or integrated development environment for Android so that you could do your programming activities under this subject again as mentioned in the orientation our programming language is Java so let's proceed I'm going to open it on the installation of this Java NIDE just make sure to allow its permission so it, it will be asking for permissions to access your storage device so just allow it so after allowing it this will be your working area so we could create a new file so file then new then we're going to create a new java console project okay so you will be asked to give a project name a package name and the name of your main class so let's give this one a project name for example i'm going to name it as first then for the package name and the main class name i'll just use again the project name which is first okay so there is no problem if you are going to use a similar name for the project name, package name, and the main class name. So I'm going to click OK. So as you can see, we have created a package name, which is first. Then we have your Java file, which is also named first Java. So I'm going to select this one and a template. A basic te template will be provided for you to work on so again for you to understand these things you have to read our module so take note of the second line public class first the explanation is in the module then this the third line public static void main is also in the module so please before proceeding in uh, in coding you have to understand these lines of code that serves as the basic template in java coding now i'm going to enter a line of code that would be system dot out dot print ln followed by a close and open parenthesis then double quotations then I'm going to just simply type hello BSIT students then at the end of my statement I'm going to place a semicolon so, if you are wondering what this line will do, the explain explanation is found on your module. So, again, I repeat, read your module so that you know what are you doing in your uh, programming activities. So, I'm going to simply click the play button. And if there will be no error... I can see the output hello BSIT students but just in case you have committed an error for example I'm going to delete the semicolon 
and I'm going to run my code there as you can see it will not run because I have an error on my code and that error is highlight, highlighted by the color red so I'll focus on this line which is highlighted in red and again I'm going to simply put back the semicolon which I have deleted earlier to make it correct then let's play it again there we have it the output of that code is hello BSIT students so that is how simple to use your Java NIDE in creating your Java programs found on your modules.